Thank you, Emeka, for celebrating the beauty of the black skin. Now to our first feature. Emia Sanusi, Truth in Time, is a stage play written by Professor Ahmed Yerima, which captures the life and times of the 14th monarch in Kano. It was performed simultaneously both in the nation's capital and in Lagos. But we caught up with the one performed at the Muson Center, Lagos. <laughs> The hall at the Muson Center Lagos is packed with a mix of the young and old, anxious to get a feel of the intrigues behind Emir Sanusi, Truth in Time, which is a slice of what happened before the dethronement of the 14th Emir of Kano, Muhammadu Sanusi II, on March the 9th, 2020. Oh, Allah, the blind I saw and smelt raw blood, sin, darkness all over again. And the piercing ray of light that comes from within is darkened slowly by the impending perilous pathways of author disaster. The author, Professor Ahmed Yarima, doesn't delve into the wranglings of the palace directly, but begins by showing the different issues that have been hugging the headlines in northern Nigeria, from insecurity to child marriage, among other matters. I remember. Since the wife you really wanted was never sent from Zender, I became the perfect victim. After all, you bought me at the age of four. And at the age of nine, you turned me into a pouch to bear you a child. I even gave him my breast to suckle. And when it was time to crystallize the false oath of my freedom from your prison, you turned me into a common slave. The story is told from the perspective of a retired palace guard, Dalihu, who has a frosty relationship with his wife. Wallahi, Narense, you, Dahiru Mohammed, you know me. When I promise, I keep it. And when I speak, Allah listens. You have abused the very bit of my womb. A thousand curses on your damn soul. Zainab, Zainab, Haba, for the sake of your son. Son? But the arrival of their son, Shaibu, a palace guard who had served the deposed Emir of Kano, is welcomed with excitement as he narrates what transpired. Tommy, son! Tommy! What happened to Emir? They killed him? No, may Allah forbid! They, as I mean, they struggled him in his sleep? No! Did the policemen come with guns and leave him away? Yes, under the cover of smoke. Did you hear gunshots? We had his here too. Yes, Baba. I was there while I but ah, they, they have killed him. <laughs> that is why you hesitate. My ah, age for the why Yalina. Baba! Why Allah? Why? They have killed another son of Fodio. They have killed them all. Baba, Baba. the Emir is well, huh? but they have taken him out of town. He has been removed, but we have a new Emir now. La, 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 la. Who? Aminu Ado Bayero. Aminu? The Emir of Bichi, eh? who is now the new Emir of Kano. So fast? They don't want a vacuum. But so fast as if, well, Allah must have given a nod to this. May it rain long on the throne. Amen. So, who had a hand in this? Who did the devil, the devil use this time? Nobody. Nobody? But everyone had a fingertip ah. soiled with red palm oil. Ah. Ah. It was all so fuzzy. They shifted all their personal guilt on Allah. Ah. Even I considered myself the biggest fake. I had failed the man I had sworn to protect with my life. We had to face our displacement. All the same, we were welcomed. So, what happened? For one second, mm. his shoulders dropped. How about? His alkaba shifted. No one could move to adjust it. Subhanallah. And we stood in pains, transfixed with tense eyes. We shook our heads, and in our hearts, we sent a thousand curses to his enemies. Mm. Now, tell me. What were the developments that was taking place in the palace, son? 
They returned to the old five provinces. Uh -huh. Kanu, uh -huh. Ranu, uh -huh. Bichi, uh -huh. Karaye, and uh -huh. Gaya. Uh -huh. It was to decentralize the power of the Emir. Uh -huh. Make him look more ordinary and less majestic. Baba, -ba. Kanu is just a common number out of five. What? The man for whom all have gathered insists he will continue to stand with the people and speak truth to power, no matter whose ox is gored. Now the question which everybody is asking is, should Amir speak? And the answer is yes. And it depends on what Amir you are and what you're speaking on. I mean, Socrates said, wise people speak because they have something to say. Stupid people speak because they have to say something. But if you have something to say, you have to say it. And I never agreed that anyone could tell me, given my background, that I was not qualified to speak on the economy. The play, staged simultaneously in Lagos and Abuja, is written by Ahmed Yarima, a professor of drama at the Redeemer University, Ogun State, and produced by Joseph Edgar, Executive Chairman, Duke of Shomolu Productions.